Trick two and flipper. Let's the win. The better that's team the, the best team yeah, win. The best team win. Yeah, that's what I want to uh, say. The, uh, a uh, respectless play of Rixu, which I mean with a smile against the cunning play of Flipper. And uh, Rixu is already here uh, on attack, going for the basket of uh, Flipper, trying to decide as fast as they can uh, to make a point. We saw a great uh, tournament from uh, Rixu, really amazing how uh, what they uh, uh, did here. And uh, I have a message from Christian Schaefer. He told us something uh, a little bit about history here of the two teams, but I think we are too preoccupied <laughs> on uh, uh, commenting this game. Yep, I can read a little bit. So, Rixu is in ball position, called from the referee, and I try to be in the game as much as I can right now because I like the excitement of the game, and we have a uh, little bit then more blue free throw. Rixu is having a free throw against Flipper. Let's see how uh, Flipper reacts to this uh, game of Rixu. They come in with th three players now, two players going in on the basket. They're doing a great job controlling the ball. Flipper is what they did uh, throughout the tournament, uh, holding back uh, their strength. Uh, Rikal Rasmussen said when we uh, commented, uh, they look uh, tired. He said, no, we were not tired. We're never tired. No, he didn't say never, but um, he said they were not tired. And probably that's their game. We have a Rixu player on the flipper basket. That could be a chance. He's deep down there with the shoulder, pushed down by the uh, flipper players. Um, this is going to be a tough game for both uh, teams and tough for the referees. The ball is now on the surface. Uh, looks like we have a cluster there. Call from the referees, probably ball outside. All right. So, the, last, the la latest Champions Cup final for a Danish team was in 2002 and also against a Finnish team. Two play players from Flipper were there back then, Claude and Jon. Uh -huh. So we have uh, some veterans here. Uh, yeah. Did they win this time? Uh, there was a, a, a Finnish team did win the, the Champions Cup five time. It was Aveniston. Uh, they did win uh, in 2004, 2000, 1999, and 1998. And um, we have the free throw team. against the flipper, and the basket was stolen by. Uh, uh, well, Rixu player. Apparently, Flipper is missing two key players, which are Simon Sheffa and Bastian Davidson. And uh, Flipper is uh, going in the defense. And Rixu is coming. Here comes Blue. It's astonishing how Flipper does it again, uh, playing their game uh, in the defense, uh, fending off uh, the the attacks of uh, the other team and uh, I guess we will see a uh, counter attack if, it g if there's a possibility soon from uh, Flipper and this will be the dangerous moment for Rixu. Uh, or Rixu succeeds in uh, uh, scoring here. They're trying it from the close side but they're pushed away and you can see how much experience Flipper has uh, to... Oh, what happened to the camera? Uh, the camera oh, okay. was moved. All right, so... Could someone please go and tell uh, the people, uh, thank you very much, that's great, we have someone uh, re... The, the Finnish team has a lot of experienced players from the Euroleague, from Tampere. Hmm? And uh, the Holmbach brothers are back after the bad injury, and they were not able, they missed the Europe Cup because of the injury. So that's why they have been so strong. I mean, I, did, I okay. have no idea. So it's and not a, a, a youngish team, but no. they have experienced player. Call from the referee. I didn't um, see it was a, a, a rough play uh, in front of the the basket, and it's a free throw against free Flipper. Throw. Yeah, Flipper apparently has has a str um, and had had a bad year in the Euroleague and in the Danish series, but they are now even more eager to get this 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 uh, this cup at all. So here we go. Rixo is coming in. Teams and 
It's amazing how they manage uh, to break out of these uh, tackle attacks and even uh, pass on to their uh, teammates. Really strong players here. And uh, it's now for uh, uh, a little bit more than five minutes we see Rixu hammering on the defense of Flipper. But uh, Flipper is doing a great job fending them off. We saw this again and again in the Flipper game. And the dangerous yes. part for Rixu will be when Flipper breaks through because after a certain time you're so hardwired on uh, attacking it's really hard to switch off and go into the defense and stop the offense of the other team yeah they're, they're amazing i mean yesterday flipper and and Rixu had such an amazing performances i yes. mean they were yes. really um, and remember they're not tired so i will not say that if something happens and went wrong it's, it's not because they're tired yeah <laughs> so uh, the first time uh, in this game the ball is in the hands of the flipper players let's see what they do but uh, there's only one flipper player attacked by two uh, Finnish players and uh, now the Danes are breaking through or at least try to but Rixu is uh, stopping them, forging them relentlessly and it's, uh, they're even pushing them back and now we have a flipper player we have a flipper player um, with the ball on the surface yeah. on the close side so Flipper is uh, in attack mode, taking the time and going in on the basket, but he's all alone. Now another uh, player is on the yeah. open side waiting for the pass, but uh, the Rixu defense tackled him away on the surface. And yeah, I mean uh, it's quite, it's a bit of a, of a slower game that we have been seeing yesterday. Here is Rixu in the coming, uh, and now we'll see they go in. There is a good chance from the open side. The Rixu player was there before the defense was into action, and now we see one, two, three, four Rixu players around the basket. And uh, this was a chance for uh, Rixu to score here, but now Flipper is going back again, stopped call from the referee wow <laughs> I'm free <laughs> uh, it's, a it's, it's, it's a free throw really again for Rixu strong physical game and and there is low in I mean all these fighting for the ball it is quite slowing down uh, yesterday when we saw Bamber play it was a bit speedy uh, yeah in, yeah in that it's, game. it's not that the fast game because uh, uh, Flipper uh, mostly lies uh, in defense when Rixu is coming. Now a Rixu player has stolen the basket from Flipper. That's a good chance for the Flipper players putting it in. No, no he didn't succeed. The is Very well done by Flipper. That was an amazing thing to do because of the, the Rixu player was lying there. He was turning around and the Flipper player had his hand behind his back and catch, caught the ball. Very well done by Flipper. It's amazing. They have a lot of uh, rabbits in their head. They can pull out. Um, you see the experience, and Rixu is again is still in ball possession, trying to go for another attack on the flipper rail. We have six minutes left in this game. Rixu from Finland in blue. Here, Champions Cup 2017 call from the champ from the referee, and flipper in white from Denmark. The, fl uh, the referee is pointing onto a Danish player. Let's see what happened. 12. 12. We try to listen uh, to the referee. We say number 12. Time White timeout. White timeout. White timeout. Blue number 12. Yeah, there is number, number 12, 12 from two Flipper minutes. is on the penalty One. bench. Two minutes for. You take him. Thank you. For the Flipper player number 12. Don't mm. know what happened. Let's see. But we saw Flipper playing uh, with this one player less, even two Mich players less. Michael Krach, apparently, the number 12 of uh, Flipper. But we didn't hear what happened, right? No. Uh, but I guess it was rough playing, uh, kicking probably. So a chance for Arixu to go into the game uh, with uh, one player more than uh, the... Flipper team. Let's see. Timeout is counting down. Five seconds left here in, the, in this last game of Champions Cup 2017. It's Champions Cup number 29. You wait. You wait. You're on your side till I tell you can go. You wait. 
Apparently, the flipper players yes, want let to go. Them be there. No so yeah, the, the referee told the players they have to wait until you before wait they are allowed to dive down. So he gives no, them no, the no, sickle. No, 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 this is for the player with the penalty. I think it's... No, 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 no. I give the blue team a warning. If you leave the position bef after a timeout, before I tell you, you get two minutes, okay? Ah, okay, yes, you're right. You so can't leave the, your place after a timeout before I say, yes, you can leave. So Rixo is not allowed to steal the okay, basket from team Flipper. Ready. Both teams have to wait until the signal goes before they can move in this uh, free throw. They want to, uh, the referees want to prevent uh, any of the teams uh, going down and causing uh, chaos on the defense uh, before the, the game is opened. Six minutes left here in this uh, first half. We have still a 0-0. Zero, zero. The Rixer players are uh, having the ball, but they are uh, attacked. By There's one uh, flipper player on number four, and it's a, a cluster coming up to the surface, close to the flipper basket. And we're now on the surface. Don't see where the ball is. Ball is falling down. Call from a referee. It looks like call from a referee. Yeah, here we go. It's a free throw against uh, Flipper again. Uh, Flipper still uh, one player less. They have one player uh, on the uh, penalty bench. Yeah, it was a kick to the face, uh, like Carlos tells us here in the uh, live chat. Okay, we have uh, the... Here comes Rixu. They are going, keeper. first one goes in, throws the ball behind him. It and the, the second one goes in, pulling away the goalkeeper. The, the one playing... Play with, the, with the ball, but the 14, number 14... It's, it's, is it's amazing is the how Flipper no. manages to keep control Mikael. of the situation in the last minute. Safe and to uh, know where the ball is. It was a really well done attack from Rixu into the defense of uh, the Danish uh, team. But uh, Flipper stayed cool, had the situation under control and brought the ball away from the basket up yep. to the surface. I, I think we still have a cluster. Here comes Rixu again. They come down massively with these three yeah, players. He's, he's, four he's players pushing down. with no ball. The, the goalkeeper, he's pushing with no ball, the goalkeeper. I mean, it looked really... really um, now uh, the Flipper player recovered the ball, thankfully, and is putting it away. Um, Rixu is coming really with everything he had, but Flipper has doing an amazing uh, job defending. Calls from the referee. The same they did yesterday against Orcas. They did an amazing job, but we have to admit that the Orcas are uh, from I mean, a little bit less weight. So this is a difference if you are defending against a 120 kilos man Mark or against an 80 kilos man. Let's just make a difference. So let's see. So it's a free throw for Flippers Flipper. Need to start having more control of the ball and attacking more because otherwise. Um, now uh, uh, Rixu has to be careful where because this is the the time when Flipper uh, does his thing, uh, pulling another rabbit out of the hat. Another Flipper rabbit uh, that is already smiling. Here we go, free throw for Flipper. Um, there's a call from the referee. Free throw for uh, Rixu. And the Rixu player tries to steal away the basket. Free throw. Didn't exceed. The concentration of these both teams uh, is amazing how they, they keep up with everything that's happening. Uh, it, this is exhausting not only on a, a bodily level but also on a mental level. Uh, really great. Can't believe what they're doing here. And here we go, Rixu is pushing into the basket. And we see a lot of Rixu players, they do it in a sandwich tactic. They go in on the several levels, pushing, pushing, pulling with the ball from one another but uh, again flipper succeeds and clearing the situation pulling away the ball with an rixu player by tackling very well strateg strategically played by flipper and they should be six now in the water uh, penalty time for a number 12 for kicking uh, should be over now This is really uh, an amazing game of uh, two experienced teams. Rixo in ball possession. 
I'd say uh, um, Rixu uh, controls most of the game, but uh, as we know, against a team like Flipper, this uh, doesn't mean anything as long as you don't uh, lead with a, a solid uh, number of scores. And now we see Rixu coming, trying to get in on the uh, close side, but tackled up to the surface call from the referee, the head ball referee, ball 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 of the water referee throw. Well, I mean, uh, Finland has been 80% in possession of the ball yes. so far. It has been attacking right in, in a game against Flipper, this uh, doesn't mean anything as long as you don't need with a score, lead with a score, because Flipper uh, is pulling rabbits out of their heads as much as you can get. It's and they have been doing an amazing job defending it's yesterday. It's it's but again, crazy I would repeat amazing. myself, these Finnish guys weigh twice as what the Orcas weighed, and that make a difference. Probably, uh, yes, but in this game, I think uh, they we have the same uh, size of weight. And now uh, Rixu is going again, attacking the basket. And how the defense of Flipper can withstand such an onslaught, it's, it's, it's a really great work. And they not only succeed and keeping, preventing a goal, but they also succeed in stopping the attack and pulling the Rixu players away to the surface, which gives them a break to take a breath uh, before the next uh, attack comes. And we know Flipper is uh, able to break out of such an attack and uh, re-counter uh, in direction of the other basket and even to score. So um, Rixu has to be careful all the time because uh, when they make one little mistake, you will see three Flipper players countering through the, through the pool in direction of uh, the Rixu basket. So this is the, the greatest danger here. Amazing job, both teams. 20, 22, 21 seconds left in this first half. Yeah. This is really an amazing... Uh, so this will be the last attack. Rixo's last chance to score in this uh, first half. Call from the referee, 10 yeah. seconds left. Hopefully they saw... Let, I let's mean see what uh, the decision is. It should be free throw for the white. Because it was holding... Free throw for yeah. white, pushing. There was, there was always the game over. one of the Finnish players going, I mean, pushing the goalkeeper without the ball. I've seen many times already. So uh, let's see, I mean... It would be so great if all the players had these big numbers in their t-shirts or so. I mean, it's so they, much they easier. We, we can uh, do it with tattoos. Num <laughs> number <laughs> the <laughs> tattoos on the back and, yes, then, yes, and, yes. Uh, and their teams, though they cannot change the teams. <laughs> if you play once Very for a team, you stay with them forever. Very funny. I have, a good, I have good ideas now. My brain is dead. <laughs> Oh, well. So I got a present uh, from uh, the Triton Baroon team from the Czech team. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much, Die, this is Bestechung. Yeah, in Germany <laughs> we call it Bestechung, <laughs> and it works. <laughs> thank you very much, Triton Berun and uh, the Czech team. If I anyone wants candy, we still have some left, and I'm happy to distribute them. So yeah, come and get them before the final is this over. This will not be distributed. I will keep this, <laughs> and when this is over, I will enjoy it. And it's really well cooled. Thank you very much guys from Triton Berun. 15 minutes left in the second half. Uh, the flipper team uh, is standing in a, 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 in a circle, meditating their mantra. We have uh, rabbits in the head, they tell themselves. The Rixu team uh, uh, is, well, Relaxing, sitting there like on a bench in the sun. What are you talking about? Well, look, <laughs> look at them. They are they're totally <laughs> relaxed, like like <laughs> sitting there, like do 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 do, while the, the flipper team is. For this is in Finland, this is sunny time. Yeah, well, <laughs> so. probably. Um, okay. So flipper is doing uh, their mental prep, and uh, Rixu is waiting. Oh, well, everything is open. Huh? I'm so I'm so happy that we have two completely different teams in the finals. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm sad that Orcas lost because you know that you know my heart is with them. I don't deny. Everyone knows about it. But you know, the best team has to win, and I think it's amazing to have a diff completely different final. Uh, Rixu and uh, Flipper, you know, after so many years. I mean, it's a really uh, very interesting game. And uh, this is the uh, the last game uh, of this Champions Cup 2000, uh, 
2017 and it's the Champions Cup 29. We had 23 teams from 14 nations all over the world. The Rugby World is uh, this weekend here in Berlin and we had the Underwater Rugby Academy uh, to bring them together and uh, this is just the beginning for us. Uh, thanks, uh, we have 111 people watching uh, this uh, final. We will have uh, people from uh, Finland I, I and we will, have, understand the commentary. We will like have people watching from Flipper, uh, fans from Denmark and uh, Rixu fans from Finland. Hello to Finland, hello to Denmark. Uh, you have uh, given us uh, the opportunity to watch two great teams. Thank you Finland, thank you uh, Denmark. Uh, this is an amazing final and uh, hopefully you can enjoy it uh, he at home as much as we do. Yeah, and every now and then post something in English or we get it. <laughs> so hello to uh, Lars Wikström uh, uh, from Tusserne in Denmark and uh, to the other players, to other uh, players we know. Kumpumeki. This is probably from Finland. I think it sounds so cool, so interesting. Please anyway, keep on so uh, developing yeah. uh, new players uh, for this great game. We love so much. Underwater rugby forever. And we are underwater rugby family going into the second half. Thanks for watching. Of the very last game of the Champions Cup 2017. Yeah, and I'm, an amazing I'm almost getting emotional here. Finals between Finland, yeah. Rixu and First Denmark time, uh, I think, for uh, seven years, we don't see Molde in the final, in the final uh, of the Champions Cup well, but and before, not winning. I mean, yeah, they had even before ten, it ten has time. been uh, 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 one time, uh, Triton Malmö from Sweden and then two times Molde again. So great uh, play here from uh, Finland and Denmark, Flipper and Rixu. Give us some info on the team, please. Well, I think uh, Christian Sheffer had a little bit of uh, an information, but I don't have more. Much here we go. Let's uh, start again in the second half of the game. Rixu is going forward. Actually, in ball control. Christian, if you are listening, if you want to come and take over the second half, I can leave you with ball so you have more inside information about um No, I'd like to have I have like like to have uh, Jacob Ladhammer with me. Come on, Jacob. <laughs> Since you uh, didn't like our comments, come with me and go for the second oh, half. Come on. That oh, was a goal. That was a goal for Flip. No. Talking oh, oh, oh. for Rixu. For Rixu. Talking about uh, ah. Chris, uh, Jacob Ladhammer from Molde. Come over here. Speak with me in the in the second half. This was a, a power play from uh, from Rixu, and they succeeded in scoring. We have uh, less than an, a minute in the first half, and a 1-0 lead uh, for the Rixu team from uh, Finland. So they need still have 14 minutes to recover, but uh, they need to be in more control, and they need to start building up a, a bit of a, a pressure. Uh, waves, otherwise um, it's going to be difficult. But okay, you said that the flipper can do whatever, so I trust you. Um, well, we this said is that not they're decided. Missing a, this they're missing this a couple of important players, including Christian Schaeffer, the change to Molde, and apparently they didn't have a good year in the EuroLeague or in the Danish uh, series. Uh, and apparently, Rick, who has a lot of Tampere experience uh, players from the EuroLeague from Tampere, so. Um, we and don't have, have sound uh, from the pool. If anybody can fix that, that would be great. Uh, we don't have any information from the uh, referees. Uh, probably the microphone of the referee is switched off. Can you please inform the referee to switch on his, uh, his microphone so we can uh, hear what uh, is decided. It's a free throw against uh, Rixu now. And Flipper has to push forward. Uh, because they are, uh, uh, have to break the lead of Rixu. They have 12 minutes uh, 50 left. That's uh, time enough, but uh, all Rixu, and uh, with all I mean, it's uh, still tough enough to, to hold on to the ball, but uh, 
it's always easier to be in the defending position than uh, to have to score. So if Rixu managed to hold on to the ball, what they do now on the surface, we have a cluster on the surface, time is ticking, already uh, two and a half minutes into the second half here in the final last game of Champions Cup 2017. And we see uh, uh, the team uh, from Rixu, Finland, in blue, against the team from uh, Flipper, Denmark, in white. And uh, Rixu is leading... Another call from the referee. We don't have a connection to the uh, referee. It's a free throw against Flipper. The Danish, so here's uh, another information from BIMC6066. <laughs> That's the number of the beast. Uh, he's telling us in the live chat. Uh, uh, Rixu has most of its players uh, playing in beta. So... Uh, it's These are really top teams uh, with a uh, EuroLeague experience yep. in this final, in this uh, very important game about the best club in the world. And uh, here we have only players in the clubs playing, not like in the EuroLeague where you can uh, uh, get uh, uh, mercenaries from other teams. So Rixu is under the basket of uh, and the Flipper, flipper has and it's uh, dangerous and the, the, the okay, shoulder is deep, was deep into the basket. But uh, Flipper, like, uh, almost always cleared the situation and uh, made it out of the danger zone. And now uh, Mikael Rasmussen it's is... amazing, the performance of Mikael Rasmussen, I mean, of the last games. I mean, I'm really... Call from the referee, free throw against Rixu holding without ball. Perfect. Oh, Atos, thank you so much. Seven player for a uh, play for Rixu in the Euroleague. Four for Beta and four for Tampere. So um, we have, uh, I mean, and, and, and Flipper uh, has also an experienced team. They have been improving, and then it have been improving in the last five years more and more their uh, arrival. And probably amazing. that's what's missing in the, the uh, uh, Colombian uh, game, this uh, experience in the international games. Exactly. Imagine, Pro I mean, they, they just play among themselves. They don't have uh, many countries around that they so can play again. So this is the chance for Flipper to go on the basket of uh, uh, Rixu and they try really hard but they are uh, pushed away here we see that the, the team captain of uh, uh, Flipper. Flipper waiting on the open side to receive the ball another call from the referee Let's see. Free, free throw, throw against, against Flipper. Flipper, it looks and like. And it looks like one of the Rixos is trying playing. to reach for the basket is going forward and I think it's pushing the goalie yeah, they was trying to mm. Annoying. Uh, referees are completely. Well, yeah, the referees. Uh yeah, w the referees you see here in Champions Cup are the top European referees. They are all AA referees. I was talking to one of the referees yesterday, and he said that actually we have a much better view here with the camera than what they have on the water from. Yep. I'm also surprised. I, I'm like, I, all right, I, I mean totally agree with that. Been refereeing in this pool too. So the, the, the visual visibility, and now we see Flipper go uh, in uh, with a counter attack. Three on the water, but you know, the Finnish are so um, disciplined uh, with yes. the defense yes. that they are like uh, it's an unbreakable it's really wall. In, it's, I mean in, it's incredible how they are in place and do a really, really great job. Uh, Rixu is really the surprise for me personally. Since I don't have this big an inside, it's a language barrier we have uh, here in uh, Germany into the Nordic teams, uh, oh, apart from the... That's, that's coming from a German, because your language is so easy to learn. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Call from the referee. <laughs> All right. So let's Holding see. hard play, free throw against Rixro and already a flipper player is waiting under the basket. Uh, already flipper playing is waiting under the like we no saw it's, it's not yeah, it's not fast but it is uh, strong it is is this very uh, they play with a lot of uh, thoughts in in it's a mental game they they pull here but this is not chess so no it is some kind of chess so Stian uh, saying referees are completely unable to see shoulders in the basket Stian I think you were running the uh, Facebook website. Uh, uh, fucking love underwater rugby. Um, they uh, 
they, the referees told us the visibility for them is not as good as uh, for us with HD here with the cameras in the water. So probably next time come over and uh, be in the water. It's always easy to criticize uh, referees, but uh, doing the job them, uh, yourself is another thing. So uh, no disrespect, just saying uh, it's always easier to criticize than doing the job yourself. Uh, you're always welcome uh, to become an AA referee and uh, show them how it goes. No disrespect here. I say this with love. <laughs> so Rixi is uh, Rixu is uh, doing quite good job holding uh, the pulling rabbits out of the hat. Oh, playing come on, yeah. here is Mikael. Uh, 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 the come tower on. 39 going into the uh, basket. Oh, this was a uh, heavy bump into with a hat. Okay. Uh, one of the flipper player bumped into the Rixu player and is holding still his hat. But he's playing. He will play and need an ice pack. Here's Flipper going on attack. Trying to recover the ball and, and getting out. They have six and a half minutes and they're one uh, goal down and they're um, really willing to win this cup as uh, they had not such a great year. So let's see. If Call they can from the referee. Uh, free throw. Free oh, throw. Let's see. Was an I saw some the of the uh, Danish uh, uh, diving. Surely they're forcing the the goalkeeper into the basket. Uh, let's see. And there was a call. We don't have a connection. Uh, sadly, we don't have a connection with the referees. We see them talking on the surface. There was a warning, probably. Okay. Let's see. We have free throw against Rixu. And there we go, number Five minutes, 25, Sigurd uh, um, coming on to the uh, defense of the Finnish team and uh, being helped by two other Danish players and uh, now they are trying to build up a way, but the, the, the Finnish forechecking is great. I mean, they're always in between, so they barely are doing, uh, you know, pressure in the Finnish basket. I mean, and this is... Uh, not going um, to change the uh, score. Let's see, they're trying to come from the close corner. There was a block there, but it didn't work out because the Finnish team... Now one of the Finnish players tried to get on the they basket. Are fighting. And they are pushing they're without pushing ball. Each other. This he has his hands in the basket. Again, Greve, um, pushing from the Finnish uh, uh, goalkeeper because the action is on the surface in a cluster. Uh, we need, <laughs> for a game like this, we need at least six referees in the water. <laughs> so let's see. Wow, great uh, recovered of the ball from the finish. We have two Danish uh, on that man. And now the next Finnish player got it and passed it to the one that started in the counter attack. Coming again, four Danish. It's at the head of the goalie, but uh, they he's been tackled away. However, they are still in position of the ball. It's one-on-one -on -one for the uh, Finnish uh, player that had the ball and has been pulling away by uh, the number seven, uh, Martin. So, let's see. They did recover it. Now it's trying to start a counter-attack for Denmark, but the Finnish team is really uh, impeding and stopping it. And that's the next uh, pass to Mika to the uh, goalkeeper and now they're trying to start the counter-attack over the uh, right hand side of the pool number eight just got the ball Jakob Sieb four minutes left and four minutes left and uh, the next Danish uh, th they need to have more underwater time right now they need to be like all of them constantly like for three minutes what do you say time is ticking in What's favor enough? time is ticking in favor for uh, Rixu they're and holding the ball. I mean, yeah, you know yeah. As long as uh, the ball stays on the surface in a cluster, uh, it works out for uh, Rixu. Call from the referee. Free throw against Flipper. Time is ticking. 3:30, 3:20. Let's see. The ball free throw for Rixu and Rixu. Oh, okay, timeout, and we don't know from whom. No, we, don't have we can discuss uh, the question about uh, video uh, proof and replay. Uh, when this game is over, we have a timeout. Well, um, Pale, uh, you just said uh, um, a, a, a video proof uh, would change uh, the shoulders in the basket. Uh, yes and no. You always it takes time. We see it. Uh, 
uh, in uh, the EuroLeague who are not playing with CMS uh, regularly. They are using uh, the video proof and uh, if a, a team complains, it's always a, a long break before the uh, decision is made. Um, but I think you are right, uh, it would prevent a lot of stuff if it uh, could be shown in the videos. Um, Manuel uh, uh, told us, uh, the head referee of CMS told us, uh, every federation uh, can make suggestions to the next change in the CMS reglement. And, uh, until the end of February. Until the end of February. So, uh, Pale, wherever you come from, uh, push your federation to make uh, uh, Maybe suggestion. Maybe a, they need a statement, to a suggestion it, accordingly. It's uh, up to us, it's up to underwater rugby themselves to make the suggestions for the change in the regulary uh, of the CMS. Call from the referee, free throw against Flipper. Three minutes and seven seconds left. Nelson, thank you very much. Muchas gracias, Nelson and uh, Sanchez Riviera for your compliment. We have 446 people watching this final game. Uh, Rixu recovers the ball. Two minutes, 40 seconds, and one zero for Rixu. So this, the time is uh, really getting short for Flipper to turn this around. Rixu is in ball control, and uh, I say ball control, they really control the ball around to the Flipper basket. Time is ticking, less than three minutes. Rixo is really, really trying uh, to fend and off. Flipper uh, doesn't know anymore how to recover the ball and um, no, no, they, they swim pressure. behind uh, the the they're fast ball game of uh, Rixo. Yeah, they're Two more minutes. reacting. They're, they cannot do much. I mean, they they've been putting a little bit of pressure in the basket of Rixo, but most of the time the Finnish team was controlling the ball. And right now, why would they, you know, lose that Less ball? They're going than to two control minutes. the ball. And then, uh, look at that. And that was a mistake because no Finnish uh, player was on site. And of course, the Danish team, uh, up, um, uh, how you say, took advantage of that and tried to recover Less the ball so they can attempt one to and a half minutes. Uh, attack at least in the last minute and see if they can attempt. They are fighting. If I would be that Finnish player, I might also probably call them to that ball York, with my if you, teeth. If you have seen uh, what uh, uh, Flipper is capable of, you wouldn't say that. They have many white rabbits in their heads. <laughs> and uh, if a team in this Champions Cup can pull it off, uh, it is uh, Flipper. So it's still dangerous for Finland and they still need to, to survive uh, okay. 1 minute 16 to be But uh, Finnish World has been in control Champions Cup. much more than the Danish. The Danish were not really very able to, to true, create some absolutely unrest. true. But you know, uh, it needs only one attack now to equalize and to go into penalty. Now Rixo is in ball uh, control doing a yeah, counter yeah, attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this works in favor of Rixu very much and they do a great game. And they earned it uh, to be a uh, Champions Cup winner of 2017. The best of uh, 14 uh, international men teams with teams from Australia, with teams from Colombia, from the US, all over the world. 30 seconds, 34 seconds left. Call from the referees. 30 half seconds a and less uh, than half a minute is uh, free throw against uh, Denmark and Rikos. I'll agree with you now, uh, Jörg. I think it's done now. <laughs> All right, let's 15 see. 15 seconds. It's not over until it's Time over, stopped. but I don't think yeah, that's uh, what are they going to do? Like a timeout or this? Let's see. 15 Three. seconds and. Uh, Rixu and with this Finland will be Champions Cup winner. So Rixu will be the best team of the world in underwater rugby clubs. 10 seconds. Time is ticking. Time is stopped. Free throw against Flipper. <sighs> What's that? The champion? That's the Star Wars. That's Star Wars, yes. 
Okay, five, five seconds, four, three, two, to one, zero. Rixu is Champions Cup winner, winner 2017. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to Rixu team great. from Finland. An amazing Champions Cup they played. Uh, it was a great, great feature for them to be An able amazing. to pull this. And also uh, compliments to Flipper. They did uh, something job. that I wouldn't have never imagined. Um, in the last seconds and minutes, they uh, made it in some of the games. It was really, really an amazing Champions Cup with a lot of surprises and uh, a lot of uh, new teams uh, getting to their top uh, positions. Yes, Finland unexpected. with uh, Rixu is uh, champion. And the Rixu is the best underwater rugby men club in the world. Congratulations to the first of the Champions Cup 2017. And also congratulations uh, to the second, uh, which is Flipper. Flipper and the third, Bamberg from Germany.